Class is in session. The professor is in. Welcome to class, y'all. And today we're going to be looking at this latest boss battle with crossbreak gen extra damage. And I'm going to make a suggestion and maybe even possibly use Kevin Owens, the relentless KO, who is our boss battle superstar with all of his gem boosting power. And maybe instead of using a Titan plate, see what the boss plate might actually do with him. I know it sounds radical, but hey, you know what? Let's see what we can do. So if we're looking at my uh, strap for him, uh, you'll notice that I put the boss plate on and I have Fury 2s on him. And so those Fury 2s are going to add an extra 80% damage right there. And then this right here, whenever you make six or more cross uh, yellow gems, uh, whenever you break them, you're going to make six random into cross break gems. And so cross break gems are going to give an extra 8,000% uh, for each one. So hopefully they're going to land on some good gems for us to use. Now, in order to do this, what you're going to do is you're going to actually, instead of putting the blast gem move on, you're going to put the sharpshooter on. And that's going to make 11 gems into yellow submission gems. And hopefully they're going to cascade into breaking at least six of them so that immediately after the sub is done, they're going to have cross break gems come up. So you have several options about how you can go about starting this. Uh, I'm going to just go for the purposes of this video, just show you by trying to get all the trap gems down as quickly as possible so we can fill the red moves. Uh, but you can also go double red MPs. You can try to get the cross break gems as qu out as quickly as possible. Um, so this is one of those movesets where it's more likely that it's turn two that you're going to do all of the damage um, based on the time it's going to take to get it up there. But once you get it up there and get the cross break gems uh, strolling through, it's going to hit pretty hard. So I've put some purple and red damage, black gem damage um, for the coaches, but you can also switch that around to better suit uh, your uh, style um, or what you find was going to work. Um, you can also put in uh, a Jinder Mahal in there so you can get more trap gems if you want to start loading up on the trap gems. So it's entirely up to you how you want to lay um, them out. So I'm going to go against uh, in a stipulation tour just to get a sense of uh, how you would lay this all down and how this would all work. So we're going to lay down the trap gems, get them going, uh, and unless I have a red match, which I do not, I'm going to try to get my gems going as much as I possibly can, try to get some red matches, so I want to make sure I hit the purple trap gems uh, as quickly as possible. And now you can see everything's all loaded up and ready to go for turn two. This is always the problem and the issue with KO is how much time it takes to get to that point. But as you can see, because I hit so many, uh, I have already some cross break gems on the board. Stuff that won't happen, I do not want to break all those down. So we've, we've got the turn boost, we've got the cross break gem, so even just right now this is doing 109,000 uh, on that yellow cross break gem right there. Um, it's going to get boosted a whole heck of a lot when it comes to the battle. So what you want to do is you're going to want to get all of your trap gems on the board before you hit the sub, if possible. Again, it depends on the time and the timing that you have, because you want them to just go off um, to do as much damage as possible. Now, in the boss battle, once you hit the sub, the player, the boss, does not break any of your sub gems. So if you remember from previous boss battles, the sub goes on and then immediately will turn into um, whatever gems they're supposed to be. Um, so in this case, I'm going to put down these yellows. Hopefully these 11 will break 6, and it does. And, and so as you can see... It's broken a whole bunch of gems. It's going to continue to fire off all of my trap gems. I'm going to get all that extra damage. And then there you go. See all those uh, cross break gems. They all hit from uh, when I had my turn uh, with the sub. Since I broke those, the boss plate goes off. So now he wouldn't have broken or had any of these extra turns to break uh, my gems. So then all of mine would have been on for the next turn as well.
So that's what you're going to do. Basically, I'll run it one more time just to show you. Hit all your gems. And so each time this goes through, it's going to be more and more dangerous. I actually have a red cross break gem. So this is going to do 269k plus whatever the 8,000 damage buffs onto that. So you can see that these cross break gems are going to be hella powerful. And there we go. Hit this. It's going to break those into yellows. It breaks enough of them that it's going to give me all those cross breaks just like that again. He's not going to have a chance to knock all of my gems off the board. Um, and so it would have been my turn again and then I could have blown up the board with all of those cross break gems. So I'm going to end it here for y'all so you don't have to sit through this match but you get an idea of how it's supposed to be run. So I edited out the remainder of that match. You don't need to see all of that but I think you get the idea as you stack up all of the trap gem damage that he can do with his yellow move then you add in the 8,000% for each one of those cross break gems. You'll make six of them and here's hoping that they land on red gems or yellow gems or purple gems which are his power gems and then you just blow up the board and you rinse uh, and you repeat and hopefully you stacked up enough to do some serious damage. Uh, will this be better than the Titan Plate build? Time will tell but at least for uh, this boss battle it's another option especially if you don't have a Titan Plate but have a boss plate although both are equally rare. Uh, if you liked it uh, and you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, uh, and I will see you the next time class is in session. Class dismissed.